Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about the moment of a force about a specific axis. And for this, we're going to be using vector calculations. So occasionally, we want to find the moment that a force exerts about a specific axis. Uh, so say we've got some door and we're exerting some force on this. The force vector is going to have x, y, and z components. Uh, and we've got a door with hinges over on the left. All right, so. In this diagram, the moment uh, is going, or the force is going to exert a moment, and it's going to have components in the x, y, and z direction. Uh, but some of those moments uh, are going to be about the y-axis, which is going to tend to cause the door to open. Uh, some of the parts of the moment are going to be about the x and z axis, uh, which is simply going to exert kind of stress on our hinges. So I might want to separate the part of the moment that's opening the door and the part of the moment that's just going to be exerting stress on my hinges. All right, so we'll want to find the component that lines up with a specific axis uh, in this case. Uh, and so this axis we're interested in, we can use the dot product, uh, which is a vector operation, to find the part of the moment about a specific axis. Uh, specifically, we're going to use this formula down here. So the moment about a specific axis will be u dot uh, with the quantity r cross f. So in this, f is my force vector with x, y, and z components. r is the same thing I did for a moment of a force about a point, uh, except here we can kind of start anywhere uh, along the axis that I'm interested in taking the moment about. Uh, and I can end anywhere along the line of action of the force. So I've got kind of multiple options for starting points, multiple options for ending points. As long as I'm going from kind of one axis, the, the axis I'm picking the moment about, to the line of action of the force, uh, the r vector is going to have my x, y, and z components for that kind of distance for the, or displacement for the two. Finally, we have u. u is a unit vector, which means it has a total length of one, uh, and it's going to be acting along the axis we're taking the moment about. So in this case, uh, my hinges line up with the y-axis. So the unit vector would have a length of 1 in the y-direction. Uh, it would be 0, 1, 0. So that is a vector length 1 along the y-axis uh, for my given problem here. All right, so r cross f, we've talked about the cross product before. Let's talk about the dot product. Uh, so like the cross product, the dot product can be calculated by hand or it can be calculated with computer tools. So unlike the cross product, the dot product results in a single scalar value. You might have noticed that the moment, the m in my equation before, did not have an arrow over top of it. And that's because the m is going to be a single value. Uh, it's going to be a magnitude without a direction. Uh, the u vector that we had, so that unit vector, is the direction of the moment. Uh, so I'm separating out my magnitude and my direction with the m magnitude and the u for my direction. Um, in this value, the, the m we get out of this represents the magnitude of the moment about the given axis. Um, all right, so the dot product can be calculated using the following strategy. So first in all of these calculations, we want to figure out uh, r cross f. So we have r cross f, we have some moment vector that's going to have x, y, and z components that I'm now going to be using in my dot product. Uh, so the m value, the scalar value, the moment, moment about an axis, uh, I'm going to take the x component of my unit vector times the x component of my moment vector that I got from r cross f. I'm going to add the y component of my unit vector and the y component of my moment vector from up here. And finally, I'm going to take the z, z component of my unit vector uh, and the z component of the moment vector I got here with r cross f. So uh, x times x, y times y, z times z. Add those three things together, and that is the overall value m. Uh, so uh, if the u unit vector points along one of the three coordinate axes, so if it's in the x direction or the y's direction or the z direction, uh, all the dot product is really going to do is it's going to pull out the x, y, or z component uh, of this moment vector that I got from r cross f. Uh, if it is a unit vector that has 
more than one component. So if it doesn't line up with any particular coordinate direction, uh, then you should follow through with the full calculation. All right, so that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.